when Mazda titivated its smaller CX-3 crossover last summer, it also introduced a limited edition GT Sport, examples of which remain available. Based on the 2.0 petrol CX-3 Sport navigation, upgrades include subtle silver-colored lip extensions to its sills and front and rear aprons, redesigned 18-in alloy wheels, a tailgate spoiler in gloss black and nap leather trim to the seats, dashboard and door cards. Ceramic or gray mica metallic paint options are standard, saving you £550, with the total package costing less than a similarly optioned sport navigation, which isn't available with the appealing dark brown upholstery. The recent range modifications mirror those made to the Mazda 2 Super Mini, whose platform the CX-3 shares, and most of them are aimed at improving all-round refinement. They include extra soundproofing to the tailgate, boot, dashboard and transmission tunnel, with petrol versions also benefiting from new resonance reducing engine mounts. Slightly revised dampers aim smooth the ride, with the front lower arm bushes reworked to improve small bump compliance. The electric power steering has also been recalibrated to improve precision and linearity, and all topped off with a redesigned wheel. Mazda claims that the steering is no less affected by driveline torque inputs, with its G-vectoring control system minutely adjusting the engine's output during brisker cornering to achieve this. The same software is also set to strengthen straight-line stability. The CX-3's electronic active safety systems are also upgraded, the city brake feature is now able to operate at higher speeds and to detect pedestrians. Mazda makes much of its cars being enjoyable to drive and the 2.0 petrol certainly feels enthusiastically lively from the off. It also feels pretty firmly suspended despite the aforementioned suspension tweaks. The first bend reveals decent resistance to body roll, as you'd hope given the limited pliancy, but it also does a good job of revealing the shape of the road below. Still. It does round bumps off, the suspension functions quietly and the limited body roll encourages keen cornering. The CX-3 responds effectively enough to this but without the verve that Mazda's dynamic ambitions, and the engine's power delivery, promise. The suspension's rather wooden reaction to topography and the steering's lack of road feel are the cause, despite the wheel's decent precision and consistency. Only keen drivers will pick up on this shortfall, however, because the CX-3 is entirely capable, even if it's stiff-legged. The powertrain is more polished. There's a good spread of torque, the peak arriving quite early for a petrol at 2,800 revolutions per minute, this is doubtless why the gear change indicator encourages upshifts well before you might expect to make them. And it duly shuffles along in traffic with no trouble in these higher gears. There are six in all, allowing for a quiet cruise. This engine is better suppressed than the Mazda 2's 1.5 when you rev it. The not far off Fox Blood brand leather of the GT Sport certainly lifts the ambience of the interior, the seats are trimmed with a mix of this and similarly hued suede. The brown leather dashboard crash hat also adds classy contrast to the hard plastic of the main facer molding. It's pretty comfortable up front, with plenty of space and a good driving position. The CX-3's ergonomic package has improved with the provision of neat head-up display on this version. Rear room is less impressive, the packaging here being better suited to growing kids than adults. But the boot is reasonably sized and comes with a false floor that provides a flat platform when the back wrists are dropped.